Hi Gemini, this is your November reading for 2024 and I'm using the Guardian of the Night Tarot and the Mystical Moments. This is the Mystical Moments and that's the other one. Also be using the Cozy Witch and the uh, Situation Love Oracle deck that I used in October. You come in Gemini and by the way thank you very much for your support and your replies uh, on all the media channels. Thank you. And I'll be going live on Wednesday at quarter past nine. Why don't you join us and get a free card? Okay. Um, we come in with a chariot. So you've got victory. And you are the champion. You've got number seven as well. And that means good luck. Also the chariot is known uh, uh, or represents cancer. So you could be meeting or dealing or you could have a prominent cancer around you. And definitely they are the people of the heart. And here we've got the heart with the um, champion wreath. So definitely open your heart because you are wonderful Gemini. And you could be very, very influenced by telepathy or psych ability, uh, psychic um, ability because the um, cancer is a water sign and they are empathic and in intuitive uh, be beyond uh, uh, by sorry they are also empathic intuitive and they're nurturing loving passionate and caring so definitely you could be a, have a psychic connection with um, a cancer um, or a water sign definitely you could be traveling for work or going on holiday or combining the two um, going on to the next level promotions wage rises getting engaged getting married starting a family expanding the family with a baby or a domestic pet or you could be moving home or, or going on holiday as I said you, expansion is the word here either in the home or the business or in your career if you've had your eye on a vehicle, because the chariot is a vehicle, you might be getting a new vehicle of some kind. Could be a bike, a motorbike, a car nowadays. Definitely a good card to come in with for the general energy. Let your heart do the feeling and your emotional chakra. The Four of Swords means, again, uh, taking time out. This could be a midweek or a weekend away. The angels are protecting you because the feathers are flying everywhere. So if you do see a feather, especially a white feather, it's the angels sending you love and protection. Also, this card means meditation. If you don't do meditation, don't worry. Contemplation is good enough and evaluation after you have contemplated or meditated on a certain situation, perhaps on where to go on holiday or when to take the trip. You could be making plans, doing a retreat um, at Christmas time or New Year's time with family and friends because this is does represent family or starting a family, getting married something good is in the air and all the cards or readings up till now have been um, showing that as well so letting go of the old and letting in the new some of you could already be receiving new things that will be with you for long term uh, in 2025 and beyond you've got also the page of wands which is Sagittarius so my daughter cancer and my other daughter Sagittarius are in the reading that does me good so definitely news about action about strategicness logicness going for what you want passion whether it is a new hobby or a person you could be this is your opposite sign as well Gemini Sagittarius but don't forget uh, Aries or Leo so page of pentacles again news this could be about money or something long term that's tangible durable and um tangible durable and i forgot now 
and long term of course so this could be a new job or a plan of action that you're going to start your own business or you're going for that promotion and it's still an idea that is in the baby shoes both these cards are children the baby um, up to uh, uh, middle age teenagers 15 16 and then you're going on to the nights news could be about work or a promotion like I said with the chariot this could also be working outside I'm hearing outside your own country perhaps immigrating for some of you let's see if that is in the cards as well so definitely check out the news um, if it comes from somebody that is not professional that is an apprentice or um, isn't qualified this news can be about a child it can also be coming from a child uh, but for example uh, your son or daughter if you've got children or grandchildren they could come home and say I've passed my exams so that's the type of news that you could hear I've got my report so good news hopefully also because time is fertile and successful with the chariot we have it confirming with the empress the empress is here saying time is fertile um, what you sow you shall reap and she nurtures the children nature her seeds and she's one with nature children and animals again you could be getting a new domestic pet here that could be the news here um, because sometimes for example a pedigree dog or a cat um, they only get bred every once a year or twice uh, in once every two years and you've been waiting for a special pedigree and you might receive the news it's being born or the dog or cat is pregnant and so in about three months time you could be um, uh, getting your uh, domestic pet because they take nine weeks eight to nine weeks so that's three three months this could be uh, taken as a three month period as well if you don't want to get pregnant then take precaution these two cards are pregnancy cards um, children you could be dealing with a mother figure this could be your own mother your grandmother or your mother-in-law or you could find out that you are a mother becoming a mother she um, also is known as mother earth that's why she represents the mother figure temperance is Sagittarius so perhaps there might be somebody in the family that is thinking of getting pregnant and finding the balance the right time the right place uh, to get pregnant especially on holiday perhaps relaxing more things like that peace will be restored because there's one sitting and one flew away so definitely um, the balance will be returned you've got the canopy here like I said you are protected by the angels with the seven as good luck as well this could also be balancing the books for the end of the year um, balancing work and the home front this could also be balancing your subconscious so letting the ideas that are in the baby shoes uh, come out into the material world balancing it getting it ready um, and um, balancing that the ideas your heart and your solar plex so that is your passion your heart is passion your solar plex is also that emotional chakra so balancing that so that you go and get what you want um, with the chariot victory so you could be harvesting some of your seeds as well because you've been nurturing and they are ripening up the harvest is here so that means victory as well the ten of cups is ultimate victory uh, happiness besides the sun so again showing engagement marriage uh, starting a family expanding the family um, with a pet or a baby if you are too mature you could be hearing of a birth of a project or of a baby celebrations um, family is important perhaps reunion um, with family and friends like I said um, immigrating going on holiday for Christmas reun reunion with family and friends outside um, 
your own country so yes and we've got the ace of cups so you could be going on a cruise as well marriage this could be the justice of the peace again balance like temperance so that's the red thread in your uh, story expansion marriage um, balance these two are balance cards but definitely going on to the next level ten is an ending and a new beginning justice if you find yourself in a judicial situation justice will be done and this could be in November um, ending the difficult emotional stressful period that you've been through and the support from your family again this could be the justice of the peace Libra, that's dealing with, that's representing Libra. Um, this is celebrations. If you're not holding any parties, you could already be invited to parties. This could be Christmas parties or New Year parties that are done before Christmas because everybody is busy uh, from the 1st of December onwards preparing for Christmas and family coming in and that could be expansion in the home or modernizing the home so that you have enough um, uh, space for family to come and stay magic is def definitely in the reading as we've got the magician keep everything transparent and clear do what you say and say what you do this represents gemini so this could be you but you could also be dealing with an other gemini or aries also the magic you've got all the tools in front of you um, to make magic happen and sparks fly this could be a new love since you've got the marriage cards here as well so wow this is a magical um, again um, what's your intonation communication is of essence um, so don't cre and create illusions um, and you won't have any disillusions don't listen to people that say you know don't listen to other people with uh, il uh, um, illusions because the magician is the biggest um, illusionist so um, if somebody is talking about you can invest in that it is brilliant it glitters like gold everything that glitters isn't gold so listen to your intuition or your subconscious the telepathy okay the ace of cups means that if you do everything by the letter of the law and listen to the advice by not creating illusions then it, your cup will be running over it's a transformational period with all the butterflies coming out of the cup a cancer again cancer Scorpio timing or Scorpio person as we are in Scorpio now and you might re see this before the end of uh, Scorpio time or Pisces so there again take your time um, to do your magic make it happen let your wish dream or goal come true okay that you've got a very fair time magical time ahead of you I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Now the um, cozy witch card that I'm uh, going to shovel for um, will be, what will it be? Okay, let's have a look. Feast. Okay, ah, she's feasting. So celebrations are in the air. Slow down, that's what I said, take your time and celebrate your and celebrate yourself celebrate yourself as who you are what you've done and what you're getting up to um, beautiful person Gemini and you are awesome just believe and receive that is what I hear for you as well 29 is number 11 so that is the angel number one one you have also got a one here as you've got an ace so that means one 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 watch out for those angel numbers let's have a look um we have 14 5 let's have a look you've got the uh, also the one of the magician so you've got one one um one three ones and uh, you've got number 11 here 
So that's five ones. Wacht uh, even. One, two, three, four, five, five, and eleven here. Six, seven. So seven ones. Wow. So that is good luck as well. Seven is good luck. Seven ones. Ooh. You know, that's a lot of ones. I've never had that before. Okay. Let's have a look what we've got here. We have the dragonfly. Light-hearted and adapt. So be flexible and compromising. Find out and change. Things coming to the light and heal. So yes, definitely the champion. Things could be coming to light. Secrets could be revealed. You might even have a secret admirer or some a partner that wants um, to start a family with all these family cards and birth cards. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Gemini. Take care and have a beautiful uh, November. Please do join me and the other Cyber Angels in the live on a Wednesday evening at quarter past nine European time, quarter past eight UK time, quarter past three Eastern Standard Time. If I haven't mentioned your zone, please check it out yourself. Thank you. Bye-bye.